Kentigo CMS pages are rendered based on cascading style sheets or CSS. By default, each website is based on a global CSS style sheet that can be edited using either the built-in WiseAwig editor or an external editor like Visual Studio. The main menu is an example of how a CSS style sheet can be used to control the look and feel of the site. The main menu, used in the sample corporate site, is displayed using the drop-down menu web part, which is based on the CMS menu server control. This menu depends primarily on CSS styles. In this video, we will look at examples of changing the design of the main menu using the Kentico CMS 5.0 sample corporate site. As you can see, the main menu is basically a black background with orange on the selection and then white font. If we wanted to go ahead and look at changing this, we want to look at the cascading style sheets which are stored within CMS Site Manager, Development, and then CSS Style Sheets. Within the CSS Style Sheets, we can go ahead and edit the corporate site, which is the site that we're using. Within the Style Sheet Editor, we could go ahead and check this out, and we can edit the Style Sheet externally using something like a Visual Studio. For our example today, I'm going to stay within the CSS Style Sheet properties and use the built-in editor. If we wanted to change, for example, the font size, we could do that by selecting Top Menu Styles, Horizontal, which will give us access to the horizontal structure of our menu. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we can find the Horizontal CMS menu item. And the horizontal CMS menu item is currently set to 15. If we were to go ahead and change this to 20, then let's save this off. And then I brought up another instance of the Kentico site. And if I refresh this, we can see that our new style sheet has been put in place and that we've gone from 15 to 20. So you can see that we have a larger set of icons across the top. In addition to the global style sheet, every document may have its own style sheets that's used when the document is displayed in the menu. We can modify these particular attributes by logging into CMS Desk. And then we want to select the page. In our example, we'll use Home. And within Home, we want to go into Properties and then select Menu. Within the menu, you'll notice that we have a variety of menu design options. Within the property sheet, we have the ability to do things like setting menu caption, which will display the name of the document when it's in the menu. We can have it set and to show in navigation, whether we want to show it in the site map, as well as menu item design. Within the design, we have things like item style. We can set CSS class. We can control mouse over, and these are actually inserted into the CSS style sheet. Since we're on the home page, if we wanted to turn that icon red when you click on another, another menu item, we could set the background color to red, and then we want to save this. And then we can go out to our live site. If I were to click on products, You'll notice that when I click on products, the home menu item turns red. This concludes our example of looking at Kentico CMS 5.0 CSS menu design.